Uh, we started farming in 2015. Green World Redevelopment has been in existence since 2014. Our emphasis was on housing, entrepreneurship, and some um, other things. So the farming took off um, after July in Ju 2014. Our immediate farm, the cruise farm, is less than an acre. This farm that we're standing on is less than an acre. We have created an agri-hood. So there are three little farms in that area, and those farms have totally changed our community and is one of the things that the city is recognized for having. Oh, we grow everything. We grow everything from collard greens to artichokes. Both this farm, our training farm, is an organic farm, and the farm and the cruise farm is organic. So we have the two, only two organic farms, and GAP certified, good agriculture practice. So the products we grow here, we can sell to a school system or institutions. One of the, the most important parts about GROW's success in the community has to do with our strategic partnerships. Specifically, our partnerships with the Granville Vance Public Health Department and with Mariah Parham Health, um, the local hospital in Henderson, we have really found partners that understand and want to grow the concept as food as medicine. Many of the illnesses, the chronic diseases that are part of our communities in this area um, are the same. Um, type 2 diabetes, high blood pressure, certain cancers, heart disease, and kidney disease. Many of these things, in fact, can be ameliorated, the impact can be lessened, and in fact, sometimes you can even reverse the disease diagnosis by using better foods. Artists and I always talk about the two things that people will listen to is their pastor and their, their doctor. doctor. Yeah. And so we've tried to develop programs around both uh, the medical facility and the uh, a religious or church facility. One thing that motivated Warren Vance Community Health Center to collaborate with um, GROW is, um, you know, they're on the cutting edge of ensuring that um, people are getting healthy foods and with us being in rural North Carolina, um, a food desert, um, it's important to get healthy foods. Um, access to healthy foods um, is just not available here. And for us, um, we have an HIV clinic and for our patients, you know, when they say food is medicine, that is literally true for us. Food is really medicine for our patients because they have to have food in order to take their medications. In terms of being able to form partnerships with other institutions that are not directly involved in farming, um, again, being a part of your community is an important part of it. And understanding farming is an integral part of that community is the stepping off point for doing that. It's, it's very important the, the role that the rural center has played in, in what we do because too often um, farmers don't have an opportunity to participate in a lot of these uh, organizations. And, one of the things that the Rural Center has offered us is a chance to go to workshops and for, for local farmers in this area to participate in workshops and see some of the things, the new and innovative ways of growing. Well, Grandmama said you are what you eat. And we are a believer in that and we believe also that originally medicine was plant-based. So we've got to go back, pull those pots and pans out, and we've got to cook and we've got to eat those vegetables. We must change our health.